guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start off February with a really fun video and this has been highly requested by you guys. So here it is, you guys clicked on it. It is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color Lip Swatches. And I know that you guys really love these videos from me, so leave me a comment down below letting me know if you guys want me to do any other lip swatches for you. I will make sure to get them posted on my channel. And if you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button right now. I appreciate it. And that way you guys don't miss out on any videos that I post. So um, just a quick intro. I was able to get my hands on 15 out of the 16 shades. I know I usually like to get you guys the whole range so you guys can see it, but I couldn't find that last one. But you guys still get to see pretty much all but one color. So um, I know you guys love this video. I know you guys find it helpful because I know when I'm looking for a lip color and you're like tan, medium skin, you're like, I don't know if it's gonna look good on me. Well, this is what this video is for. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys wanna hear some of my thoughts about the range and my favorite shades, wait until the end of the video and I will tell you all about it. So let's jump right in. Okay guys, so let's talk about my favorites from this range. And obviously, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know I love my nudes. And I found most of my favorites are the nudes or the neutrals in this range. So my favorites in no particular order are 645 HD Forever, 630 Seduction, 655 Kisses, and then 610 Addiction. Of my favorites from the brights, I only have one and it's the 655 Intensity and then for the reds my favorite is 660 Romance. And for anybody who's asking, right now I am wearing, hold on let me check, I think this one is 665 Kisses and then in the beginning of the video I am wearing 645 Forever. I know I get this question quite a bit so I wanted to tell you guys right away what I'm wearing right now. So now let's talk about my pros and cons about the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. So let's start with the good news. Pros, love the price of this. This is under $10 and you can buy this at Target and I think at Target it's even cheaper. I think I found it for like eight bucks. And then um, at Ulta it's about $9. So it's drugstore price, fantastic. Another pro about this is the formula. I really, really, really like the way these feel on my lips. They're not drying at all. They're really creamy. They're really smooth. Um, I just really enjoy the feeling of it on my lips. It's not one of those lipsticks that like sucks all the moisture out of your lips. So it's really comfortable. So another pro I have is I love the selection of this range. You can get a lot of nudes. There are some vampy dark colors. You get some reds and then there's some brights mixed in. And I think that they'll look beautiful all throughout the year and also on every skin color. So take your pick. It'll be perfect. Now we move on to cons. And there are a lot more cons than there are, I guess, pros, but don't take that as a you know, reason not to buy these things. So one of my cons is the biggest one, and it's called the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. They're not matte. That's like my biggest pet peeve. It's like, don't call it a matte, call it like a satin. 
because to me, it doesn't really dry matte. Um, I think the only time it looked matte to me when I was wearing this was after it sort of like um, been sort of wiped off. So to me, it's not matte. And that really annoys me because I love matte lip colors. So the second con for me is the flavoring or the taste of this. It's like a tutti frutti type of flavor. To me, it's kind of, I mean, personal preference, but I really don't enjoy it. I prefer it to either have like a vanilla or something less like strong. That's just my preference. Um, another con. I found that some of these, especially the bright ones, and maybe even the darkest shade, are really, really patchy. Like, it took me a while and I had to really, really work at it to get it to, one, cover all of my lips, be even and smooth. And it took me a while to get it so that, you know, my whole lip was covered instead of just parts of it. And that really, really annoyed me. I also found that I had to sort of put on more than a few layers to get any color payoff and for it to actually cover the color of my lips. I typically have very dark lips. If you don't have that, then it's probably not gonna be a problem for you. But for me, I definitely found myself sort of putting quite a few layers on. And that can also add to the fact that it's not maybe drying as quickly to get down in matte um, because I had quite a few layers and I was putting on a bit of a thick layer so that I did get the color payoff that I wanted. And then I guess the last sort of con for me is the applicator. It's a weird sort of doe foot applicator, but it's a big doe foot applicator. And to me, I found it a little bit like clumsy and cumbersome to use because I couldn't get the precision I wanted. Anytime I wanted to get any precision around my lips to line the outside of my lips, I wasn't really getting it and I found that sometimes with the patchy formulas, when I would swipe once and then swipe back over, it wasn't putting product on, but more like taking product off. It was a little bit frustrating. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, overall, I would say, I think for me, I would stick to the nudes. Those were a lot easier to work with. I didn't have as much trouble as I did with maybe the bright colors. I also prefer the nudes, that's just my preference. And I think that they have a really great shade range in the nudes. I can sort of bypass the flavoring and the doe foot applicator because it's like, it's so affordable, especially if you get like a high end liquid lipstick that's 20, $25. So I think that this is a great alternative, especially if you're on a budget, It's it's got a whole lot of colors. And I mean, aside from it calling itself mad, which, I've already said it bothers me. I think it's a great lip product. I won't call it a matte lip product, but I think it's a great lip product. Okay guys, so you heard my rambly thoughts and you saw the swatches. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite was and which ones you guys actually have and maybe you might be going out to buy new ones so let me know which ones are your favorites from this swatch video. Also in the comments below let me know if there are any other products you want me to swatch because I know that you guys love this and I know that you find it helpful and I always want to be that for you guys so leave them in the comments down below and I will definitely definitely put them on my channel. Anyway guys, thank you guys again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any videos from me. If you guys want a little bit more from me, check me out on my social media. I'm more active on Instagram, but I do tweet sometimes here and there. So check me out there. It's Sunshine Carry On. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.